This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily target farm ships in Starfield. Let's get to it. First, let's cover real quickly why you would want to do this. Two main reasons. One, it's a lot cheaper to steal a ship and register it than it is to buy it flat out. And maybe you're looking for an upgrade and you want a specific ship from the vendor, but you don't want to pay full price for it. You can easily farm for that specific ship using this method. The other reason is these these ships can contain parts that you may or may not have access to currently depending on where you have put your skill points. A lot of these ships have parts on them that you need to have put points into ship design in order to access. But if you get a hold of one of these ships and you register it, you can build with these parts and move them around or do whatever you want with them on your ship. You just can't buy new ones or copy them. This can be a really handy strategy for getting high level ship parts early game. All right, without further ado, let's talk about how you go about doing this. The method is pretty easy. When you land on a planet, there is an event that can randomly happen where a ship will land close by shortly after you exit your ship. So what you want to do is find a planet. I've had my best success with this doing this on moons. This event can happen on any planet, but for some reason, it seems to trigger more on barren planets. So find a random moon, land on it, exit your ship, listen for the sound. You can hear the ship before you see it. It makes a loud sound as it's entering the atmosphere. Even if they don't have an atmosphere, you still hear the sound as though the planet had an atmosphere. So listen for that sound. Give it a minute or two. If it doesn't trigger, and this is really important, get back into your ship before you move to another location on the planet. If you just go to the map and travel to another location on the planet, it will just move you to that location and you will already be exited your ship. You want to make sure that you enter your ship before you move to another spot on the same planet. And the reason for this is, is because every time you exit your ship, you auto save and you need that auto save because that is the save that we are going to use to reroll the ship if we don't like the one that we got. It seems to be that when the event triggers is when it decides on which ship it is going to have show up. So you just keep getting back into your ship, moving to another other spot on the planet, even a different moon can sometimes help trigger it as well. And then when the event finally triggers shortly after you exit your ship, what you are going to do is immediately reload that autosave. And as soon as it loads, like the instant it loads, you hit escape, go to the main menu and do a hard save. This just helps ensure that you don't overwrite that autosave and you have a hard save backup. Now wait for the ship to land. See if that's the ship you want. If that is not the ship you want, just reload that hard save. Give it a second and the ship will show up again. Once that event is triggered, that event will show up every single time. I think what happens here is as soon as you land, it already decides that it is going to have this event. And then when you exit the ship, that is when the event actually triggers. And when it triggers, that's when it decides on which ship it is going to send. So if your save is saved right before that event triggers, you'll get a random ship every single time you reload that save. And there's a pretty wide range of ships that can show up, including most of the ships that you can buy from vendors, as well as a bunch of other just random pirate ships and other nonsense. I actually use this method to get the current ship I'm running around in, which is a big class B hauler ship. I finally maxed out my piloting and I really wanted to upgrade my ship to a class B or C ship so I could haul more stuff on my ship. And so I just used this method until a large hauler landed that actually ended up having a bunch of parts that I do not have access to, including the engine shields and a bunch of other things, which was really nice because then when I went to rebuild it, I could just pull those to the side, do my rebuild and attach those parts that I don't have access to back to the ship, which are clearly better than anything that I had access to. And this also saved me a ton of money because had I bought a ship this size, it would have cost me over a hundred grand. Doing this method, I only spent about 50-ish to register it and rebuild it. All right, and that is pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informational. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. And if you're looking for some more of my content, you can find a link to another one of my videos on the screen right now. I wanna give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to 
become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.